In this Photoshop tutorial, we will convert an image into line drawing, add some watercolor and ink stains to produce a creative piece, and add a paper texture to the background for a more natural look. Download the free images used in this tutorial. Start by enlarging the canvas of the model image to frame it using the crop tool making sure we have content aware selected before confirming the crop. This means the enlarged areas made by the crop are filled in the same background that we had. Select with the lasso tool some details that we want to eliminate and fill them using edit, fill and making sure content aware has been selected. Unlock the layer by clicking on the padlock, right click and select Convert to Smart Object and name it as Original. To convert the image into a line drawing, click the icon with a black and white circle at the bottom of the layers window. From there, create a black and white adjustment layer. From the layers panel, select the two layers and right click on any of them and duplicate layers or Ctrl Command J key. In the black and white copy layer with a right click on the name of the layer and select creating clipping mask with original copy, all the adjustment layers in the properties window have options at the bottom. The first is this, create the clipping mask. You can also create clipping mask with alt and clicking on the dividing line between layers. You will see that as you approach the dividing lines, between layers and hold down the Alt key, the pointer becomes the symbol for creating or undoing the Create Clipping Mask option. Add on top of the black and white copy a layer of Invert Adjustment and Create Clipping Mask. Blend the original copy layer in Linear Dutch Add Mode. A type of silence is created. It is like a sound wave which cancels out the sound wave it is coupled with. Something similar is what it is happening in our composition. Now move a few pixels using filters applied to original copy and the drawing will appear as magic. Go to Filter, Other, Maximum, Radius 3.7 pixels and Preserve Roundness. And Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, Radius 2.7 pixels. Continue to apply filters to original, filter, stylize, oil paint, stylization 10, cleanliness 10, scale 0 0.1, result detail 0, check lighting angle 0, shine 0. Edit the filters blending mode, double clicking on the two sliders icon located to the right of the filter layer and blend them using darker color mode. Apply Filter, Filter Gallery, Brush Strokes, Accent Edges, Edge Width 3, Edge Brightness 25, Smoothness 2. Without leaving the Filter Gallery window, create a new filter layer from the new option at the bottom right of the Filter Gallery window. The filter is duplicated and select the one above to apply Artistic, Brush Strokes, Paint Dops, Brush Size 0, Sharpness 4, Brush Type White Sharp. Create a new one and apply Artistic Rough Pastel, a Stroke Length 0, a Stroke Detail 1, Texture Canvas, a Scaling 100%, Relief 6, Light bottom. Edit the filter gallery blending options by double clicking on the icon of its layer sliders and lowering the opacity to 62%. Select the first layer starting at the top and create a new level adjustment layer to create contrast. Drag the black slider to the start of the histogram its technical name and move the white slider to the left to burn the grays more clear.
duplicate original, copy and place it above all the layers and add the filters off. Filter stylize oil paint. Stylization 8.3, cleanliness 8.5, scale 0.1, bristle detail 0, check lining angle 0, shine 0. And apply filter, filter gallery, stylize, blowing edges, edge width 2, edge brightness 6, smoothness 5. Go to the image, adjustment, black and white menu and regulate the colors towards the white area to get a more defined line and apply another adjustment from image adjustments invert apply another adjustment from image adjustments level to contrast by dragging the black slider at the beginning of the histogram and the white take it to the left to burn light gray also adjust the gray slider of the midtones finally to create the pencil effect go to filter filter gallery with the following filters in order artistic rough pastels stroke lens Zero, stroke details 1, texture canvas, scaling 100%, relief 4, and light bottom. Then artistic paint dots, brush size 3, sharpness 0, brush type white sharp, and finally brush strokes, accent edges, edge width 3, edge brightness 25, smoothness 2. Blend the layers in multiply mode, create a mask and turn it off. Having created all the layers, now regulate the black and white adjustment layers to generate a more defined line. In this case, the most predominant colors of the image are red and yellow, therefore they are the ones we are going to adjust. Adjust the layer that we had hidden, original copy 2. In the mask, paint some areas with black, hiding parts of this line and make it a little rougher. Select all the layers, create a group, and name it Line. Bring the image of the paper and place it under the group and blend it using multiplied mode. Make a mask and clean some areas by painting using black. Copy the image of the blue stain. For this, drag it to the tab and drop it inside the area of the destination image. The image will not be copied if we drop it on the tab. You can also select the entire area from the menu, select all, edit, copy, and in the document of the line, edit, paste. Blend it using multiply mode and transform it by edit free transform until we find the most creative fit. To eliminate the watercolor's background color, making it clear, create a level adjustment layer. Select the white pipette and clicking on an area of the background that we want to be white and therefore making it disappear. Multiplied mode makes white disappear. In order for the adjustment layer to only apply to the watercolor layer, right click the adjustment layer name, create clipping mask. Select the layer of the paper and create a black and white adjustment layer to remove the yellowish tint. 
In the blue stain layer, create a mask and fill with black to hide the watercolor. Sometimes it is interesting to do the opposite, that is, fill the mask with black, hiding everything and paint with white to discover the stain. You can do this by selecting the mask and from the properties window mark invert. If it is not active, the option is because something is selected. So execute Control command d and it will be activated. Paint with white on the mask to discover the watercolor image. You can use the Dutch or Boring tools to lighten or darken parts of the watercolor. Uncheck the stain between layer and mask. Activate the layer and with the Move tool, move the layer to another location that fits better. Position the line group on top of all the layers. Normally, the line of the drawing also goes on top. Open the image of the yellow and orange stain. And since it has already a transparent background, flatten the image by going to Layer Flatten Image and move it to the composition. Place it under the line group and transform it using Control Command and T or by Edit Free Transform to find the most creative composition. Blend in Multiply mode. Then create a level adjustment layer and select the white eyedrop and click on the background area of the watercolor to lighten the background. Create the clipping mask with the watercolor. Add a gradient map adjustment layer and look for a gradient that applies an attractive color palette. We can load more groups of gradients from the menu of the gradients window, clicking the Append option. Integrate this layer by blending it using color mode and create the clipping mask so that only the color change is applied to the yellow and orange watercolor. Create a mask in the watercolor layer and hide by painting with black or reveal by painting part of the watercolor with white. Select all the watercolor layers and their adjustment layers and group them and call it textures. Create another group using the background layer and also its adjustment layer and name it background. Add the splash paint layer moving it to the textures group and duplicating the yellow watercolor layer. Mask it using Create Clipping Mask. We can use the Alt and Click key on the dividing line between the layers. By holding down Alt and hover over the dividing lines, we will see the mask or unmask icon. Blend using Screen Mode. Move the mask to the splash layer. Activate the mask. Select the two layers and move to gain a creative fit.
To color the line, take a copy of the original copy, place it above the line group, and create clipping mask. Blend it using screen mode and adjust the opacity. With this mode, blacks and grays become colored, applying color to the entire line.